की जय हिंद ऑल आई एम डॉक्टर सारिका कालरा फ्रॉम ई एन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ अजय कुमार गर्ल्स इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अर स्पेशल टॉपिक ऑन स्टेपर मोटर बिकॉज इन इलेक्ट्रिक ड्राइव सब्जेक्ट दैट इज के डब्ल ई जीरो सेवन फाइव इन दिस सम इन द फिफ्थ यूनिट सम स्पेशल टॉपिक्स आर देयर वेयर देयर वी देयर इट कवर्स द स्पेशल काइंड ऑफ मोटर्स like la in the previous lecture i have discussed srm motor because all the demand of uh, like students uh, and now today we'll uh, look the stepper motor this is also a special kind of motor it's a you can say <coughs> it is used in the drive system and uh, but it is used for low power application right to control basically to control the position of the uh, any load right so first these are my contents like introduction uh, and features of the stepper motor and uh, what are what is the demerits like disadvantage of the stepper motor then the then we see the difference between the conventional motor and the stepper motor uh some uh, terms which is associated with the stepper motor that we also we are going to see and the types of the stepper motor so this is the stepper motor motor is the form of ac motor the input gives given to the motor is a form of electric pulse for every input pulse the motor shaft turn through specific number of degree called steps so basically in this uh, we are giving the input pulses and according to the input pulses the motor will rotate in the steps so if the number of steps will be more the it the precise precision of the motor will be high the resolution of the motor will be high so by reducing the number of steps we can increase the uh, precision or the resolution of the so it will uh, more uh, uh, used for position control so uh, for that's why the very precise uh, where the very precise uh, position control is required we use the stepper motor because it's uh, measure the position in terms of like steps so whenever you give the input uh, so in this the pulse uh, the input will be the the kind of pulses so as we apply the pulses the motor will rotate in the steps right so stepping motor is the ac motor as i said whose shaft move through one angular step for each input <coughs> each uh, angular step so in position control system if the input pulse sent to the motor is known as the actual position of the driven job can be obtained so as i said that this is used for the position control very where the very precise control is required we prefer the stepper motor and uh, because it has the some advantage like the wind doesn't require any position sensor or any fluid feedback loop it can be work on the open loop system open loop uh, simple and the we can the stable Uh, no stability issue will be there in this so as we apply the input input uh, step uh, uh, i mean the input pulses we'll get the according to the according to that we get the step rotation <coughs> so generally this motor is used for the small rating like range is 2.5 kilowatt to few micro watts now this is the difference between the stepper motor and the conventional motors conventional motor as you study like induction motor three phase induction motor and the synchronous motor and the dc motors like shunt series and the compound motor but this this is stepper motor is different and because in this dc motor you apply the dc voltage and this ac motor you apply the ac voltage but in this stepper you apply the input pulses right uh, so input uh, to the stepper motor is the form of electric pulses where the input to the conventional motor is the constant voltage source so the conventional motor has a free running shaft where is the shaft of the stepper motor move through a angular step right so in the control system applications so this this is the big advantage for the stepper motor no feedback loop is required when the sm uh, the the stepper motor is used but the feedback loop may be required in this mm. case of conventional motor here the conventional motor will will be the either the induction motor the the dc motor or maybe the synchronous so stepper motor is a digital electromechanical device or you can say this uh, the 
conversion motor is the electromechanical device right now we will see these terms which is very important terms which is associated with the stepper motor right like first is a step angle the resolution the holding torque and the detain torque step angle at which the motor uh, with at which the motor will uh, rotate in step like for each uh, giving input signal the rotation one step will one step rotation will be there that is called the step angle so at each uh, inputs when when we are giving the uh, input signal so at each input signal how much uh, motor will rotate in step that is called the stepping angle right it can be expressed in terms of like stepping uh, alpha is equal to 360 by m into nr where alpha is the step angle and m is the <coughs> number of phases in the stator uh, nr is the number of rotor teeth or number of rotor poles you can say right so this by using this formula we can easily get the step angle so in each input signal how uh, how much the motor will rotate, how much the motor will rotate in step that is called the step angle, right. So, uh, 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 more number of steps will be giving you the precise control, precise rotation. Second, this is the resolution, it is also important for the um, induction, uh, for this stepper motor. So, resolution of the stepping motor is equal to the number of steps need to complete in a one revolution of the rotor right so how many steps are required to complete one rotation that is called the resolution right so if the number of uh, step step and uh, number of steps are more number of steps is uh, is uh, used to control uh, to get the one revolution that is that means the revolution will be more and the <coughs> the precise it will give you the precise control right so the more res resolution of the motor will give you the precise rotation of the motor right so this is <coughs> this is the uh, you can say it's a number of steps that complete in one revolution that is called the resolution right so as i said greater the resolution better is the accuracy of the position position control right so uh, <coughs> like uh, when you give giving the input signal, one input signal give provide you the one step uh, rotation, then another input signal provide you the another uh, again the further uh, uh, rotation. So, in uh, how many steps are completed uh, to uh, how many steps are required to complete one rotation that is called the re a revolution to complete one revolution of the motor that is that is called the resolution that can be identified with the help of this 360 by alpha where alpha is the step angle so so better so greater the resolution better will be the uh, precise control position precise position control then this is the third term that is also associated with the with the step angle that is the hold, holding torque so, holding torque is defined as the maximum load torque that is applied to the shaft when the motor is excited without causing the continuous rotation. So, how much it bear the torque without um, rotation when the motor is excited. So, that is called the holding torque, right. So, that is required to hold the load, uh, hold the load. So, that will give you the, you can say it is a uh, maximum uh, torque right so that uh, the maximum torque that can uh, motor can hold the load right so at standstill the excited motor opposes the rotor position due to the load torque so holding torque is the measure measured this opposite opposite opposing torque you can say right <coughs> detain torque detain torque is uh, is also is defined as the maximum torque then you apply to the shaft when the motor is unexcited and without causing the continuous rotation. So, the difference between the holding torque and the detain torque is that both are uh, giving you the, uh, the measure of uh, maximum torque, but the holding torque when the motor is get excited without getting the rotation and the detain torque is maximum torque which apply to the shaft when the motor is unexcited and without giving the 
rotation. So, it is also considered as a maximum torque. So, when the motor is excited to hold the load, we require the maximum torque that is called the holding torque. So, to hold the load, when the motor is unexcited, that is called the detain torque, right. So, these are the some features or you can say some advantages of the stepper motor. As I said, uh, it is a simple construction because it is uh, we prefer the salient construction in the rotor side as well as the rot uh, the stator side salient poles kind of construction and the rotor has no winding in the stepper motor. So, that, that is why uh, you can say the stepper motor is a very simple construction so no winding in the rotor side. So, um, the labor cost or maybe cost also can reduce because uh, no complication winding will be there. So, it can be easily run like high, it can be run at the higher speed also. Second, compatible with the digital system, no sensor are needed for the position. So, it can be work on an open loop system and it provide the greater torque at a no load, <coughs> right. So, whenever uh, greater uh, uh, at, at the uh, starting like maximum torque uh, like holding torque, it can hold the uh, maximum load torque. Uh, when the motor is excited without rotation. So, it uh, it is you can say that the stepper motor is a it is uh, achieve uh, I mean provide the greater torque. The torque of the stepper motor of the shaft of same size of the servo motor at a lower speed is greater than the servo motor. So, uh, that means at a lower speed the you will get the higher torque in the case of stepper motor and cheaper than the servo motor because rotor has no winding. So, the no uh, winding cost will be there, no complicated winding construction will be there, only the rotor salient pole kind of rotor is there in the uh, uh, stepper motor, right. So, stepper motor is often used is an open loop system that does not require positional or torque feedback making the stepper motor simple and less costly, right. Excellent low speed torque. At a low speed, it provides the higher torque as I said earlier and stepper motor offer excellent load speed torque which means the motor will drive many loads without having to utilize any additional gearbox or you can say gearbox mechanism. The rotational angle of the stepper motor is proportional to the uh, input pulse. As I said, whenever you are providing the input pulse, the motor will get excited and it will provide the one uh, one step rotation right whenever and uh, then again the another if uh, if we provide the number of uh, number of pulses in the sequence the step the uh, step angle rotation will be provided uh, in one uh, signal one input pulse the first rotation the another input pulse when the another input pulse will be coming the again the further the again the same uh, step rotation will be provided so, this is how the motor will start rotating. So, excellent response, transient response is also very excellent in this case like starting and breaking, stopping or you can say breaking. It is a excellent uh, transient behavior response, right. So, that is why uh, <coughs> due to this, this is more preferable motor in the case uh, in when we are going for the precise position control, right? Because it has a simple construction, it has, a, it provide the higher torque at a low speed, it give you the, uh, uh, because it is uh, no uh, sensor is required, no, so it can be used for the open loop, so no controller com complex will be there. So, it cost also get reduced and uh, simple construction because rotor has no winding. So, uh, winding cost can reduce maintenance cost of, of the winding is also reduced. So, the, so the cost uh, overall cost will reduce, right. So, these are the some features and also you can say, so the choice of application if you see, it can be prefer where the low speed with the high precise uh, torque is required at a low speed where we can use the stepper motor. Uh, as I said, stepper motor provide the full torque at standstill, like holding and detain. We talked uh, in the holding and detain torque. So holding torque is the when the motor get excited, it provide the total heavy load. Like it can withstand the uh, 
heavy load at starting when the motor it get excited without provide the rotation. So, that is called the holding torque. That is why the uh, holding torque is I mean holding torque is high in this stepper motors that is why it provide the full torque at a standstill or uh, at a lower speed or you can say at a lower where the application is required at low speed higher torque is required where we can use the stepper motor. These are the some disadvantages or you can say demerits of the stepper motor. It has a lower efficiency and uh, as I said the at a lower speed high torque is required. So, as the speed get uh, reduces the torque the stepper motor decline rapidly right. So, uh, in this case no feedback is used to indicate potential misstep. So, maybe if the feedback is not uh, used, uh, so maybe some of the uh, steps can be missed. So, preferably if you use with the feedback, it will give the more precise results, right. So, low efficiency, the torque of the stepper motor decline rapidly with speed and uh, no feedback is used to indicate potential missed step, low torque to inertia ratio they cannot accelerate load very rapidly as in the it, as I mentioned previously like uh, it has the higher torque at standstill. So, maximum torque at standstill that is called the holding torque. So, uh, at a lower speed it will uh, the torque will get uh, reduced very uh, uh, drastically. So, they cannot accelerate loads very rapidly right. Stepper motor have a low torque to inertia ratio which means they cannot accelerate load, load very rapidly and the motor cannot get. So, motor, motor can, uh, may get uh, heat up in high performance configuration right and sometimes it can be a noisy when operate at a higher speed because it is made up of at a lower speed with the with this uh, uh, higher torque right. So, when you run at a higher speed it may can noisy holding torque has to be overcome then only you can run the load because holding torque is the maximum torque that can withstand by the motor when the motor get excited. So, whenever you run the motor at a low speed you must apply the higher torque I mean the torque higher than the uh, holding torque right. So, detained torque or the holding torque has to be overcome in order for the motor to move, it reduce the ideal torque that the motor can produce when it is running. As I said or mentioned like where because at starting the holding torque is high, holding torque the maximum torque is higher at a starting. So, that must be overcome to run the motor right. So, this is also the uh, may be considered as a ad demerits of the stepper motor. Right. So, these are the some applications of stepper motor, machines tool, type uh, writers and printers, video cameras, recording, recorders may it can be used in the pen drive disk driven in the uh, computer systems and in very small size it can be used in the handheld calculator or in micro uh, what because as I said. It, the, the range of the stepper motor is 2.5 kilowatt to the micro volt. So, it can be also used in the wrist watch and uh, clocks also. Now, uh, so till now we have discussed like uh, about the stepper motors, uh, what are the demerits and demerits uh, and demerits of the stepper motor, what kind of application in which application these motors can be used and uh, some terms which is associated that is very important for the stepper motor. So, first is the step angle, the resolution, the holding torque, the detain torque. So, as I said stepper motor, step angle is the angle of rotation of the motor in each input pulse which is given at the input side. So, whenever a input pulse is given in each input plus pulse the motor, the rotation of the motor in step that is called the step angle right and how many uh, steps are completed in the one revolution that is called the resolution right. 
So, this is a one numerical on the basis of this formula and we will try to solve this, so that you can be able to understand how what how is the like uh, resolution, we, how we get the resolution of the motor, how we we'll find out the step angle, right. So, in this a stepper motor has a step angle of 6 degree and uh, you have to find the resolution, the number of steps required uh, to complete the 10 revolutions and the shaft speed when the stepping frequency is 1800, right. So, first you have to find out the, the step angle is given that is alpha is given 6 degree and you have to find, find out the resolution. So, resolution is equal to 360 by step angle. So, this is the resolution model means in one revolution how many steps are uh, used to uh, complete uh, one revolution that is called the resolution. So, in one step the motor suppose this is the motor. So, suppose this is the, uh, at this position the motor will be, uh, motor will have this position. Now, when the input signal is given to this motor, it will step rotating at 6, six degrees suppose, right. I am not uh, making a right angle just a wait because it is a 6, 6, 30 degrees suppose. So, at this position the motor is there. So, this is suppose this is alpha, this is step angle, this is 6 degree. So, from this position to this position whenever one step is one input pulse is given the motor will ro rotate from this position to this position that is 6 angle. Another input signal the motor further will rotate at a another 6 degree angle. So, how many steps are completed in a one revolution that is 60, 60 uh, it is a common sense that 360 by step angle. So, it can be, so 360 by 6, so it is a 60 steps, that is that means 60 steps are required to complete the one revolution that, so 60 steps are the resolution, right. Now, second you have to find out number of steps required for the shaft to complete 10 revolution, right. So, one revolution in one revolution we have in one revolution in one revolution 60 steps are completed, right, has to be taken, right. So, in a 10 revolution, 60 multiplied by 10, that means 600 steps. Right. So, <coughs> third you have to find out sharp speed if the stepping frequency is 1800 steps per second. So, it is steps per second. So, per revolution it will be 1 by 60 into Thirty RPM. Okay, thirty So this is this uh, frequency we can this is the speed we are we'll getting from this stepping frequency, right? Now we'll uh, uh, giving you the types of the stepper motor. Uh, 
where uh, this is the three types of the self stepper motor. Uh, one is uh, variable reluctance stepper motor, permanent magnet stepper motor and hybrid stepper motor. So, today we will only discuss with the variable step, uh, reluctance stepper motor. So, till now you have an idea about the stepper motor, then the what the demerits and merit, then how we will find out the some, how, what are the terms which is associated with that uh, stepper motor and how we will get this, right. Now, we will see the types of the stepper motor, right. So, one is the variable reluctance stepper motor, permanent magnet stepper motor and the hybrid stepper motor. So, these are the classification of the stepper motor. In this variable reluctance also can be further classified in two types, single stack variable reluctance stepper motor and the multiple st multi stack variable reluctance stepper motor. So, variable reluctance stepper motor, so it is based on the principle of reluctance. I mean, uh, it is work on the principle of magnetic material placed in the magnetic field ex field experience a force to align minimum reluctance. So, when the, whenever the uh, uh, minimum reluctance the rotor will uh, move in such a direction. So, it will achieve the uh, it or it will align the minimum reluctance part right. So, construction like it has the two parts main the two parts stator and the rotor the rotor the stator is a salient kind of feature and or salient means uh, the poles are projected types and the pole carry the concentrated winding and stator made up of the silicon steel stampings the big advantage of as i mentioned previously like the big advantage of this stepper motor it has a no uh, rotor winding in the rotor and the rotor is a salient pole also, uh, the rotor is also same kind of, it is a salient pole, projected types of poles are there and the rotor made up of a ferromagnetic material, right. So, if we, uh, so it is look like a single stack variable reluctance motor and this is the multi, multi stack variable reluctance motor. In a single stack, like it is a 6 by 4 single stack uh, variable reluctance motor. Uh, variable reluctance stepping motor. So, 6 by 4 means the 6 number of poles projected type of poles are in the stator and the 4 number of projected kind of poles are in the rotor. Projected means uh, like salient pole means a projected kind of poles are there and it is uh, 6 and 4 number of poles are in the rotor, right. And in the multi stack there is a one shaft, but the number of stacks are there. Like in this, only one stack is there for one phase, and like in this, only one uh, stack will be there, and the, this uh, phase will be made up of like A A dash, B B dash, C C dash, right? In this, there are uh, one shaft. In a one shaft. Uh, rotor and stator combination will be uh, more that is why it is called the multi stack. So, if we uh, see the uh, single stack variable reluctance motor, uh, you are going to understand the um, working principle behind the variable reluctance single stack variable reluctance stepping motor. So, I just take an example like it is I have uh, taken a 6 by 4 pole single stack variable reluctance stepping motor. In this you can see the stator carry the 6 projected poles and the rotor has the 4 projected poles and the rotor has no winding you can see here. And the stator has uh, the winding like we can build with this 3 phase and uh, at a time only one phase is excited right. So, A A dash is one phase, B B dash another phase and C C dash is the third phase. So, at the one time only A A dash will be excited as you can see here the cross and dot will be showing the, the direction of the current right. According to the direction of the current the north and south, south pole will be generated at A or A dash right. Now, if you see the, now if you see the step angle like uh, 
alpha is equal to 360 by m into r m is the number of uh, number of uh, phases in the stator and the nr is the number of uh, number of uh, poles in the rotor so with the help with this help you can identify the step angle right 30 is the step angle now i just finishing this uh, like uh, principle so in this how this will work when you excite the aa dash the idea is to the the magnetic field will be generated by this aa dash so this is the magnetic uh, and the rotor is also the magnetic material so magnetic made up of a magnetic material so it will try to align the position so that uh, the minimum it will get the minimum reluctance path so suppose first position is this now when we excite this bb dash so in the second position when we excite this bbs bb dash the rotor will try to move in the under the b or b dash pole so it will move in this direction so how much it will move at one single uh, signal at 30 degree so it will move from this position to this position to this position this position to this position that is step angle and it will get the minimum reluctance path between the stator and the pole minimum reluctance path right so this is minimum reluctance path and it will try to move in the anti clockwise direction now we will de-energize the BB dash pole and energize the CC dash pole, right. So again, it the tendency is to align the position of the minimum reluctance path. So three, the three is going under the pole C and the one is going under the pole C dash. So again, the 30 degree movement will be there in the anti-clockwise direction. So this is how the motor will start rotating and if the step angle is 30, so, the resolution will be the 360 by 30, right. So, that means 12 steps are required to complete one rotation or one revolution. So, 12 is the resolution of this motor. So, this is how the single stack variable reluctance motor will work and further we will in the next coming session we will see the uh, different types again the different types of multi stack and the permanent magnet stack stepping motor. So, till now uh, I am stop here, I am stopping here. Thank you.